All right, so as we know, Baby Groot is done. We used the glue stick method, and it did good. His arm stayed up there. This is what we used right here. So let's see about getting him off of the print bed. Now, I kind of expect the arm to break because there seems to be a little glitch right here, and the other one broke right where the glitch is, as you can see. So it just seems like a glitch right there. So if that breaks, I'm not, ex I'm not really going to be shocked. But Look at that. <laughs> so the glue stick worked great. You can see there's a little bit of where I've used the glue stick. It's kind of like a little bit shinier through there. Um, that was the glue stick and baby Groot pulled right up. I like the glue stick method. So he did great. I just got to clean up all the little stuff on him and everything and uh, get him painted. But um, actually, it didn't turn out very bad at all. But you can see where in the G code there was a little glitch because it did it on both of the prints. Um, I've got another one where both of his hands are down and we'll try it again and see how it does. But using the first one, the hand came free right here and started moving around and I had to try to re glue it. I actually, messed up my print bed. So um, I came back through, we did the glue stick, and uh, it worked. Did a great job. So if you're having problems getting your piece to stick to your print bed, um, try some glue stick. So on the Ender 3, I mean, this right here has done really good all along. So this little thing, but it, it's kind of easy to mess it up. So you kind of got two things. Now I do have the glass plate, so I can try glass plate, but I like this for simple and ease. Um, I didn't like how this right here messed up, but I'm gonna tell you right now, when I came back through and tried the glue stick, it did its job. So if you guys are having problems getting anything to stick, um, that glue stick actually works wonders. Just simple Elmer's glue, went up to Walmart, picked it up, and uh, yeah. So now when I did the, uh, the Toyota engine, I didn't really have any problems on the uh, PLA. Uh, it did what its job was and it printed it just right. When I did the ABS, they lifted up and did a horrible job. So the glue stick on the PLA works great. The ABS, um, I'm not even gonna you know, comment on that because if you wanna try it that way, but ABS has a bad habit of warping and coming up and um, I don't think the glue stick is going to do it, but this was the head I did. And on this end right here, it actually, you can kind of see a little bit of a bend. So no matter how much of a glue stick you're going to do, the ABS I had a problem with every single time, and the PLA prints great. So PLA, glue stick, and there you go. So anyways, stay tuned. We'll be doing another uh, group. And his is going to be a little bit different with both hands down and we'll see how it does again and see if the hands come free or glue stick actually like repeats itself as a success. So anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one.